everybody, Linda here, the scrapbooking photographer. Welcome to today's video. Thanks for joining me. This is part of a hop for Mix It Up Monday, which is a hop run by Tara O'Rourke from Peace Love Craft Clubhouse. And today we have this beautiful sketch to follow that was created by Karina Nelson. And it's also day 14 of the 30 days of sketches in Christie's Beautiful Life. Um, it's taken me a while to get into my craft room. Had a bit of a sad week here last week when we lost our cat, Morty. So it's taken me a while to get my mojo back and come back to where we used to share a lot of time. Anyway, I can't talk about that too much today. And the photos I'm going to use today are of spring. And because of all the circles in Karina's sketch, I have already cut them out in advance using two of Stampin' Up's sets of die cuts, one called Spotlights in, on Nature, which has a whole range of different dies and sizes and circles and things. And I've also used the Deckled Circle dies, which are a fabulous set of all different sizes. And the big one only just fits in my cuddle bunk. So I've gone ahead and already cut those out so that I can do some different things to them. Now this one um, I want to emboss and I've got some embossing folders here. I thought this would look quite good with some leaves embossed on it but as you can see it's a little wider than the embossing folder and it is the circle that's going to go in the middle of the page. So I'm going to cut that in half and emboss both sides of it. So the embossing folder I've used has very helpfully got a line uh, down the middle. So because this is going in the middle of the page, I want it to be straight on that side. And if I use uh, that line of stems to line it up with, I can do the same when I put the other one in on the other side to make sure that they kind of look right when they go together in the page. Okay, so let's move some of this other stuff out of the way. These are the colors that I have chosen. I've got some scraps there if I need them. Bossing folders and first strips. Right. So nice to have a double page spread to work with. Doesn't happen very often in these hops. So really cool. So if we put this one here, this one should match up with it there. So that's cool bananas. So I have these other embossing folders here, which I thought this one with the little birds on it is quite good. What I thought is I'll leave the ones that came out of the Spotlight on Nature that already have some markings on them. I'll leave those unembossed and I'll leave some of these unembossed. This is quite a narrow embossing folder, so I'll do that green one and see how that comes out. Oh, yes, very cool. That's what I want. I wonder if a yellow one will fit in there. Just perhaps. I might do it because they go um, under and over. I'll just sneak it to one side and then hopefully I'll be able to put it somewhere where this doesn't show so much. Well, that goes really nicely with the spring kind of theme. Um, I'll leave the others unembossed at this stage and just get a bit of an idea how these are going to lay out. I've tried to do three or one of different colours and then you don't want them kind of bunching up against each other so it's a matter of seeing what fits. anything down I'm going to do a little bit of mixed media on the background here and under here and here perhaps so we will take all of this off and get ready to do some painting I'm going to use some distress oxide and some antique linen to start with I'm just popping it on the side and some water in to thin it down a little bit. 
use a sponge to smush it up and smush it on. Just put a little bit more on there. A little bit more water. The water's nearly empty by the sound of it. And I'll smoosh it up a bit. And rather than using the sponge, we'll see how this goes. Okay, that's kind of the effect I wanted. I'll do the same down along the bottom. We've got the circle coming in here, so we'll just go a little bit down to the edge there. And the same on the other piece. gives us our three little spots of colour. It doesn't look like anything at the moment, but we'll see how it comes up the next bit. And once these bits are dry, I want to use a stencil, just with the there's some flowers and some birds and things in here. So I'm just going to bring it in a little bit of a very soft pink. I want it to kind of run out as it gets into the middle. And here, it doesn't really matter which piece I'm using. Same on this piece. I'm just fading it out a little bit towards the edge. I'm not even sure how much of it we'll see once the photos go on. like a little bit of green on the background as well and so this is the Tim Holtz Distress Spritz Weathered Wood we'll just do a little bit in different places pop that over the side to dry So this is the uh, Media Gloss Spray, and I don't want to do it once the photos are on. So I'll just do a little bit of a shake of it now with my big brush to just get a little bit of green in there. So I haven't used the splatter box for this piece, although I did for the spritz, but I think there's a little bit more control you can have over the gloss spray when you tap it off with a brush. So I'll put those two pieces on the side to dry and then bring them back um, a little bit later when they're a bit drier and then just dry fit these circles back around. I'm really looking forward to seeing what everybody else in the hop does with this sketch. Um, it's very adaptable and it could be a single page or a double page. Uh, there's just so many options. I did think about doing a monochrome circle layout with the sketch but um, I really like the spring colours that have come into this and it's kind of a happy feel after being just a little bit miserable for the past week or so. 
There will be a link down below to the playlist for this Mix It Up Monday YouTube hop. So you can see what everybody else comes up with and get inspired by their interpretation of the sketch as well. So now I've got the circles kind of where I want them. I'll move the pages to one side and just trim some strips of different paper. So I've gone for a fairly neutral grey tone from the Stampin' Up! Country Lace pack and now this piece of blue paper which I think is gorgeous and it has some little birds and things on it was actually given to me on Saturday just two days ago uh, wrapped around a lovely gift so it is stamping up paper um, but it has got creases in it as you can see where it was where it was wrapped um, around the gift but the gift is lovely and the paper is lovely as well so I get to repurpose that, which is fantastic. So these strips go behind the photos and on the left hand page, they're up higher than the right hand page. So I'll just pop them underneath there to get a bit of a feel. And on the right hand page, they're going to go a little bit lower. So I'll use the same three colors because I think they kind of blend in. I did have a brighter color there uh, to try and bring in some melony kind of pink colour but it didn't really work at all so I've stuck to the blue and I'm bringing another blue colour in to mount these photos with a very fine outline of the grey in between the photo and the pattern paper and I always think that the uh, plain mount in between the photo and the pattern paper just gives it a nice little definition uh, before the pattern behind it so I've made some fishtails, as you will see, in the corners or, or at the ends of these strips that are going behind. And I've just cut that one in half to stretch it a bit further so that it reaches either side of the picture and um, has a decent overlay. I won't, however, do the same fishtails on both sides on the left-hand page uh, because it, it doesn't kind of look right. Anyway, coming back to this one where we are now, I'm just doing the little strips up on the top left of the right hand page. And that strip was a little bit long so I cut a bit off it. And again I'll use some of this wrapping paper and just cut it in between the creases that were the folds around the present. And then the other side of it are, has the birds on it so I'll use that as a strip going horizontally because I don't really want the birds um, on their heads going sideways. And I might put a couple of little circles behind that at a later date. So looking at the left hand page now, I've got the right hand page stuck down, but I need to do the same with the left. So as you can see, I've mounted the photos in the same way. And I'm also doing the strips behind these photos only a little bit higher. And for some reason, I could not get that left hand one to look the same height as the right hand one so I have um, brought in the versamat so I can use the measurements on the side to make sure that I get things starting at the same height and on both sides anyway so you can see that in the middle there there wasn't really enough room for the fishtail uh, to, to be visible on the right hand side of those photos so I've left that side straight and I think that's fine if I'd have thought about it before, I perhaps could have done the same on the right one, right hand page and left them straight, but um, it's fine the way it is. So I'll bring them both back in there together and as I said before, I'll put a couple of circles up around that extra piece and I've brought in an olive green just to tone it down a little bit I guess with that green. I've done a bigger one for that gap down on the bottom left uh, with the decal circle dies and I've used a relatively small one from the Spotlights on Nature for uh, this little grouping of things on the right hand side. So that fills that gap up quite nicely and I'm really happy with the way it's kind of coming together. So with the title I'm also going to bring in that olive green so we'll end up with three patches of that olive green, one on the bottom left, one on the uh, top right and also on the right of the right hand page so a bird life and then I bring it down and stick it 
down lower so I can bring in this word beautiful at the top for two reasons one is I like the pink coming in there and I also like the two different fonts I think that just kind of adds a little bit and then I'll put a little bit of bling around nothing wrong with bling and uh, th in little groups of three in the sketch there are stars in different places but I've just replaced those with little pieces of bling and then finally, I will just add a little bit of journaling, not a lot of journaling, just three little strips here that I'll write a little bit of a story on. And that is my page just about done. So a great sketch to work with and really enjoyed putting it together. I hope you've all enjoyed that and happy crafting, everyone. Mm -hmm.